Welcome to the Chef's Kitchen. I'm your host, Maria Valletta. We are grilling outdoors today with Chef Tony Clark. Joining us is CEO Craig Friedman. We are at the Eastern Marketing Designer Showroom. Welcome. Thanks for joining us on the show. Oh, thank you. Welcome, and we're happy you're here. Well, we are glad to be here because we are using this baby, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, so what I'm are ready. you going to cook today, Tony? I'm grilling. You are grilling. grilling so we've got chilling. meat, seafood, fish. And while you get started on yes, that, Craig, why don't you tell me about the features sure. of this professional sure. top of the line grill that's supposedly mom friendly and dad ready. That's correct. The Lynx grill is mom friendly and dad ready. Lynx is a professional grill that is made in the USA. It's made in I Los like Angeles. Yep, made in Los Angeles, California. And they have some tremendous features that really set it apart from all the other grills. Uh, one of the things that we love is our pinky easy lift up hood. So this hood is very, very light to lift. Let me give it a shot. For men, it's different. You sure, know? sure. So, let me test it out. Ooh. Wow. And it's such a smooth rollback. Correct, correct. And not too far that I'm not extending my arm and all the way back here, like with the normal grills. That's great. That's right. Now, of course, the most important thing about a grill is how it cooks. And as you look inside the grill, you'll see that we have an infrared searing burner, which is glowing in an orange color. It goes from temperatures as low as 300 degrees to as high as 1,000 degrees. I love wow. that. The chef's going to like that. I like that a lot. So what's the best food to cook at 1,000 degrees? Uh, everything. Yeah? You just got to move fast. Move, move fast. Really fast. Exactly. And that's what this searing burner from Lynx will do for you. will help you cook your food faster and seal the juices into the, to whatever you're cooking and make it taste better. That is this searing section over okay. here, that orange so searing sear section. Over here. This to, is the, so to the left of that, we have some ceramic briquettes, which have a red brass burner below it that's 25,000 BTUs. What does this all mean? It means that That's we, guy speak yeah, to that's, me, yeah, so yeah. Exactly, What's it exactly. all mean? It means that we're gonna heat these ceramic briquettes and it's gonna give you a very even cooking surface so that we can even grill pizzas on this, uh, on the grill here. Or again, we can do uh, steaks and chops here as well, or chicken or fish. But really, every part of the grill has that ability because of the variable control of the grill. Great, and I also noticed that there's this beautiful blue lighting here, and that's, does that make it easier for cooking at night? Uh, absolutely. It's not only beautiful to look at, it gives you the ability to see the temperature that you're setting on the grill, and of course we have the interior lights inside the grill as I well, see that. which will help you when you're cooking at night as well. Well, thanks for talking sure. about the grill. Uh, Lynx is an incredible product. Tony's going to put it to test, and we'll see you at the tasting. Thank Great. you, Craig. Thank you very much. All right, so you got some lamb chops going on yeah, there. This is an amazing grill. Filet, really pork I, chop. What are we missing? I this know. is a bacon. Bacon <laughs> know, makes everything better. I know. <laughs> Making bacon. Look at that grill marks. It's amazing. Yeah. So we're just uh, we're just going to start out here. We're going to have fun. I never worked with a grill like this before. It's and so, so it's my first sleek, time. isn't it? Yeah. This I'll... would be my ideal outdoor kitchen I know. If, I, if I could create this. This is unbelievable. It would be everybody's outdoor kitchen, I'll tell you. So look at that. Those marks, I never got on an outside grill before. Wow. Ever. It almost looks stamped and not even real. That's no, gorgeous. That is okay. beautiful. So we're just going to... Look how fast it's cooking this well, lamb chop. We're going to put the, yeah, these lamb chops will be done soon. Stay tuned for more from Eastern Marketing. We now return with more from Chef Tony Clark. So now we're going to just throw some other things on there. Let's do here. This is the fun part: making bacon. <laughs> I've never seen anyone use put bacon on the grill. Actually, I'm a little different than most people. Just mm -hmm. to let you know. A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. This is what is, is like a mixed grill. Ooh. So we're just grilling all kinds of stuff. Talk about hot. So are we at a thousand degrees here? Yeah, we're, we're cooking at a thousand. The hottest I've ever cooked. We have some shrimp. So the seafood's going to cook even faster yes. on here. So I'm just going to like give Ooh. it some marks and then put it up on top of this here and yep. grill a little slower. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the eggplant and the zucchini okay. on that plate if you can for me. Sure. Then we're going to season with salt and pepper. Look at the color on this. This is gorgeous. 
I am pumped. They smell so sweet. All right, I put a little salt okay, on there. Okay, I still a little oil in there? Yeah, and you need a little pepper. So we put some oil in here. And we're gonna flip them over. Let me just flip this shrimp out. I can do that. Okay, awesome. We'll just put it off to the side, even though okay. it's not fully cooked. Okay. Learning from the best here. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so we season both sides. Mm -hmm. This is a uh, nice pork chop. And it's really doing really well, as far as the cooking goes. This is gonna sear in all the juices, too. Yes, that's important. You don't get that. And then what are we gonna do with the bacon? Well, just serve it, eat it, you know, have yeah. fun. Yeah, it's a mixed grill, you know, it's a, we invited everybody, it's a big party. This is ideal for an outdoor yeah. barbecue, have family reunion, whatever it is, all the kids around. What I like about this specific showroom is that you can come here and actually try it out before you buy it. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah. I heard people bring their own food, you know. Thanksgiving, I'm coming, I'm bringing my own turkey just to chow it out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in, count me in. Let's put some onions on this one. I love grilled onions. Me too. Do you want more olive oil? Olive oil, these? salt, pepper. You got it. Okay. I have some oil I'm gonna just brush my stuff with. It's an herb. What kind of herbs do you have in there? Some uh, parsley, some cilantro. That's good. You're, you're like a natural. I like being in the kitchen. And I want an outdoor grill, and I want this one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think you might get one. All right, so we're going to put a little demi glass on here, brush it on. Oh, that looks so good. Yeah. Give it a nice color. We can do some of the vegetables with it. So now, if you don't have Demi glass just sitting around or that you homemade. What can what else can you use to well, season a pork chop like that? Anything like a hoisan sauce or something like that. Uh, okay, a little teriyaki, yes, hoisan. Asian style. Okay. That's a great idea. These are ready to go. Okay, we're gonna get these out of the way first. Look at the beautiful grill marks. Yeah, you don't see that. Mm -mm. Let alone so quickly. No girls are like this. This is uh, unique. This is the first time I ever saw it or ever worked with it. I love it. This is great. It has this little rack so that I you can just it. rest everything, oh, get it off the heat. And keeps it warm. Keeps it warm. That's important. A lot of great okay. features. It's so versatile. I know. And um, from what I was learning about, it also has a rotisserie and a smoker box. I love that. Well, you can do hot smoked uh, veal and lamb. Ribs. Rotisserie, beautiful chicken. The rotisserie is connects here to here, it has a little motor and does all the work for you and then you can throw some water on your face and say you're sweating while you're drinking beer. I like that feature. Okay, so we're just gonna put these off to the side. We don't cook them too much, but just enough. Great flavors. Now let's put the scallops and the, um, the black bass on there and we'll season that up real nice. I was just gonna nice. ask you what kind of fish this is, black bass. Mm -hmm. And if you can't find black fish, black any bass. Fish. Any, any fish. Any other fish will work. Yeah, anybody. You know. Great. But we're not going to, we're going to put yet. it on here. Okay. And flip them over. Flip them over. Mm -hmm. Got it. Mmm. Peppers? Yep. What are we going to do with these? We're going to oil them up, salt and pepper. Okay. It's kind of fun. I get to use my hands. Uh, that's it. Okay. Grilling is so easy. If you know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put some pepper on there. Are right, these shrimp are perfect now? So. When I'm grilling, now we've got a lot of food going on here. Right. I like to have a glass of wine in here. Yes. And, and it only happens to the grill thing unless I'm over someone's house. I don't have a grill yet. Not yet. But I think you're going to get one. <laughs> <laughs> That's that. What I like to do is pair a really nice wine with it. So for me, if I'm doing ribs right. or meat or lamb, I like a really nice Syrah. Right. Mm -hmm. And then uh, with the seafood, you know what would be great with the scallops and the shrimp you're doing, thank you, mm -hmm. is a, a Spanish white, an yeah. albariño. That would be fantastic. I like fantastic. the way you say that. Albariño. Yeah. Well, I couldn't even say that. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I like beer. Practice makes perfect. Like beer. Beer. You have the beer, I'll have no, the wine. No, I drink wine. <laughs> I love wine. 
when I went to Spain, we, uh, you know, all the Spanish wines, we just, just kept on drinking the ones that were local, and that was fun. They are fantastic yeah. and really undiscovered. So mm -hmm. I try to really push people uh, when I'm doing wine seminars or wine education to go out there and search for yeah. some Spanish wines. What a great job. Let's just taste wine. What do you like, <laughs> you know? Stay tuned for more from Chef Tony Clark. We're back with more from Eastern Marketing. I just took the whole peppers right there with salt and pepper. Left mm -hmm. them just like that. You can take the seeds out after you cook them, but I think it is really nice this way, and it, it, it just gives it a nice flavor when you cook it whole. Okay, so so now the, the, the squash is doing well. You have a lot of room to work here. Yeah, it's good. Look, and, and I'm keeping it hot, and it's and it's where I want it. So we're just going to put them in the bag now. So I just oil the grill, so I don't puts a lot of oil on the fish because the oil will burn and flame up. So I love Ooh. that sound. That sound? Yeah. They're clapping. Thank you. That's what they're saying. It's the, thank you for steering me. Yes. Thank you for letting us into the party. Okay. So yep. that's looking good. This is a great uh, piece here. So now we have tomatoes and peppers. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. We're going to Demi glaze over. again. Oh, right. we're gonna have some brush all over. Or hoisin sauce yeah. or teriyaki. Oil, salt, pepper? Yes. It's amazing that oh, just a little bit of fresh ingredients like great olive oil mm. and fresh cracked pepper, and some great sea salt. It just goes a long way for flavor because you've got the grill and the grill gives you all the rest of the flavor. And it's exciting. You're dealing with things that you You're love. You're not gonna get this in the oven. I try to grill most of the, almost all year if I could. If yeah. I had something like this, so jealous. I'd come here and crack some eggs on the grill. That's Gotta a joke. get all this. Oh, <laughs> missed that part. That's all right. I'm not that funny. <laughs> We've got uh, ten minutes to get all awesome. this. Awesome. Look, now I'm making grill marks with my scallops. Oh, the grill. Let me see. This, what, 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 what? All right. I'll show you this almost. one. See? Ooh, Look at that. Boom. Beautiful. See this fish? Perfect. The grill's perfect. Look at that color. Oh my gosh. They really blister up, those peppers. Yeah, they're beautiful. These will do the same, I'm sure. Okay. These guys got a nice rub down with olive oil and pepper and salt. They're ready to go when you want them. We have some parsley over here too, huh? Yep. What do you think we're going to do with that? I think you, uh, mm. oh, and arugula too. I don't know. Tell me. We're going to grill it. Are you really? Yeah, we're going to try it. This could be dangerous. Now that's, that's different. It's, so uh, yeah, why I, not? I know. When you, when you, when you first got this job, didn't they tell you right away? Tony's a little, little different. <laughs> Tony's dangerous. <laughs> He's different. Okay. So see the fish is perfect. Over. Look at that. Your scallop just bounced and spun over. See, all right? Perfect. Okay. <laughs> Should we put the peppers on? You gonna roll these in olive oil too? Yes. You are. The whole thing? Yeah, why not? All right. Here we go. A little go. strange, right? Yeah. I know. It's gonna have a beautiful sound to it. Well, I heard a lot of talk about wine, and uh, <laughs> so I thought I'd bring a little bit out oh for you. Oh my goodness, yeah. Craig, good idea. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Fabulous, nice Chardonnay from Napa. This is great. How come when a man says that? How come when a man says talks about wine, nobody brings in wine? <laughs> huh? What's up with that, huh? <laughs> I don't know, Tony. You might have to forgo the beer here today. I know, that's all right. I, listen, Enjoy I'm Irish. I, I, I like to drink. Looks great, Chef. Isn't this awesome? Yeah. yeah. The grill is fantastic. Awesome. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I am totally enjoying nice. it. Nice. There we go. 
right. Smells great. The long hots are nice and charred. Yep. Yeah. Beautiful. Do you like hot peppers? Absolutely. Oh, yes. really good. All right, I'm going to start handing these over. So you don't want to cook the peppers too much, but just enough. The tomatoes. That's going to be yours, Tony. Thank you, there. This is mine. Craig, oh, this is you. yours. Thanks thank for you bringing much. the yeah, wine well, to the outdoor coming. barbecue party. Thank you for coming to our showroom. Yeah. This wow. is a great outdoor yes. barbecue. Thank Cheers. You. Thank, thank, you. thank you. All right, we're almost ready to plate up. Just got to finish this up here. Stay tuned for more from Eastern Marketing. We now return with more from Eastern Marketing. How's that parsley going? Right, look at it here. Arugula too on yeah. the grill. Wow. That's a new trick. Let's plate this up. Let's have some fun. That's his herb sauce, a little okay. olive oil and herbs in there, cilantro, and gives it that nice green color. So I like to keep all the, the vegetables together and all the fish together that are similar. What do you think? Is is the grill performing well? I think the, gr the grill is performing well and the chef is performing oh. well. I agree. <laughs> All is good. I agree. Awesome. Mm. Look how pretty yeah, it is. That's good, there. So you just cut that tomato right in half and just stuck yes. it on there. I think because it's so hot that it just... It'll get right in there. And yeah, it will. And, uh, you know, you got to be careful with the tomato because it will break down a little bit. Okay. <gasps> get our demi-glazed yeah. pork chop, Craig. Oh, Let's try. I think we're ready for this. I love I love onions on the grill. Mm. It's amazing what a lynx grill can do. <laughs> it really is. Got all our onion. We still need our red peppers. <gasps> There's the color. Leave that lamb there. You want the lime? Yes, love. All right. Got to watch out. <laughs> I'm going to place I'm, it I'm right used to, yeah, yeah. here if that's I'm okay. used to that. <laughs> so Tony said he's going to bring a turkey over for Thanksgiving yeah, and try yeah. it out. Yeah, Just, and and yeah. you can do that on this grill. It has two <laughs> positions on the rotisserie, so we can do... A, a large turkey, or you can do a Cordish game hen. Oh, good. I'll be over on November 23rd. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're not done yet. Okay. Relax. Look at that. Grilled tomato. This almost is like a Spanish grill. Uh huh. You know? Speaking of Spanish. But I'm Irish. <laughs> All right, well, let me, let me sneak. I like your choice of lime over lemon for I this. love lime. This is wow. going to it's not bad, huh? be so delicious. On top of the bacon, on top of the meat. See, that, <laughs> that's that's the uh, insanity. Bacon and lime. Yeah, oh, good olive oil. I just and want to carry this tray away. Can you tell? A little jump? salsa. <laughs> Fresh salsa with jalapeno, lime. Mmm, a little spice in there? Yep, and then we just put a little of this, and then we're going to put a little salt and pepper on there. And we've got our tomato over here still. Yes, I know. All right, just checking. You don't it trust it? Good, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, that amazing. looks good. Oh, it smells good. It looks good. That's why I get invited to the good parties. But I'm not at the party. I'm in the kitchen. But then I have a party in the yeah. kitchen. That's what happens. Do you ever have a party in that kitchen? Invite me. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. You're invited anytime. <laughs> we'll, we'll have an Eastern Marketing showroom kitchen party. There you go. Antonio Cook. Yeah, I will. <laughs> I like cooking. And one last thing. <clears throat> That's it. Perfecto. Oh. Finito. Tasting time. Come on, don't be shy. Step up. Okay, I'll just yeah, I really want to taste the, the fish first. Gonna... Yeah, because that's going to go great with the wine, too. Yes. Okay, dig in there. Look at that. The bass. Beautiful. That's perfect. I'm going to steal your piece. That's right, huh? Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's so moist and so delicious. Yeah. Mm. That's fun, huh? Look at that shrimp. Ooh. That is fantastic. It's cooked perfectly. Come on, dig in there, Craig. I'm trying. Mm. Delicious. Perfect. 
Let's get rid of the plates and just move everything closer. We don't need okay. these. No. Sounds yeah. like home. This is familia. Family style. That's color. Mm -hmm. I'll be drinking my wine, well, I'm just, Johnny. I'm just moving it out uh -huh. of my way. <laughs> All right. Boy, that fish was good. Mmm. Mmm. That, that is pork. so good. All right, you cut a little piece. Because mm. it's the grill marks that matter. Perfect temperature mm. inside. I'm right behind Home you. I'm in your way. Mmm. No, no problem. problem. Mm. Wow. Look at that. Wait Perfectly till you done. Taste that. Per perfect, ju juicy, everything. Look at this. Mmm. Look at that. Mm. Perfect. You know how to do it, Tony. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, this has been great. I love being at the Outdoor Eastern Marketing Showroom. Mm -hmm. And a big thanks to Lynx Grill. Yes. Tony, you did that grill wonders. I know. I'm going <laughs> to put it in my back of my truck. Cheers, right, guys. Thank you, Craig. Thank, Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you Craig. Well, I'll be back soon. Thank you. Cook something from the show? Went to a restaurant that you loved? Found a place serving innovative cocktails or impressive wine? Become a fan of The Chef's Kitchen on Facebook and share your thoughts.